These kitchen select flat packs are so quick and easy to assemble yourself, saving you time and money and allowing you to create your very own kitchen exactly how you want it. Let me show you how easy it is. This is the 600mm extractor fan unit. Let's open up the box and see what we've got. Now with our box unpacked, we can identify all our components according to the instructions. Our two side panels, top and bottom, our back rails, our backing board, and the door. And then our hardware, we have our cam screws, our cam locks, 8mm dowels, two hinges, our nail and anchors, and 30mm screws. Tools you'll need are a Phillips screwdriver, a hammer, a tape measure and pen, some masking tape, a hammer drill with a 6mm masonry bit and a 4mm wood bit, and then your choice of handle. So the first thing we need to do is put our dowels and our cam screws into our side panels. Now with those in, we can put our cam locks into our top, bottom and back rails. Now when installing your cam lock, you'll notice an arrow. You want to make sure that the arrow is facing out in the direction of the hole that accommodates the cam screw. Now with all the hardware installed, we can start assembling. Just make sure that your cover strips are facing forward. Cover strips to the front and backing board slot to the back. Place your side panel face down and slot the base board in, locking it into place. Now you want to make sure those cam locks are on the inside so you don't see them from the outside of the box. Next is our backboard. And then we can install our back rails. And now we can pop on the other side. Line up all your dowels and cam screws and gently push that into place. Lock our back rails and just flip it over to get to the other cam locks. Now we can install our door. So the easiest way to do that is choose a top and a bottom, lay the unit down on its top, with the door down next to it. That just makes it so much easier to line up your hinges. Now when installing your hinges, you'll notice the little plastic inserts. You want to take those off and then just gently tap them into the holes on the door. Now center the door against the unit and fix the hinges into place with the supplied chipboard screws. Now for the final touch, we can install our handle. First thing we need to do is find the center of the door. So I like to just put some masking tape and measure halfway. Now for this particular handle, my measurement is 127 mils. So I'll measure half of that each side of my point and then find my distance. Now that I've got my distance, I like to just use the handle itself as spacing from the base of the door. Hold that up flush against the door and then use the handle itself to mark off my points to drill. Now I can drill my holes with my four millimeter wood bit. Now just pop in my screws and secure the handle into place. This unit is now done and can be added to other units in the range to create your own kitchen. Then finished off with the countertop and some accessories. Here are a few installation tips. Using your 6mm masonry bit and hammer drill, secure your units to the wall with the nail and anchors. Prevent any movement of your units by using the supplied 30mm screws to fasten units together. To adjust your doors, use the screws on the hinge. Use this screw to make lateral adjustments, this screw for horizontal adjustments, and this screw for vertical adjustments. For more units in the range, check out the Builders website. And for more how-tos just like this, check out the YouTube channel. Get to Builders, get it done.